Hi, this is Angela Clark with Threadwiggle Quilting and APQS Rally. And today I want to talk to you a little bit more about power panto and setting up designs. So the important part of power panto is that when is understanding what it's doing to your designs when you're using it. It is using the aspect ratio that the designer gave this design when they designed it. And it is um, then multiplying out the number of designs, keeping your aspect ratio locked. So the height and width of your design are going to stay just like what the designer designed. So if we look at the panel that I have on the screen right now, this is a panel called Dazzle. And it's coming out looking like the designer intended it to. Now I did put spacing, vertical spacing on the design. If you look down here, um, you're gonna see that I have changed my vertical spacing to 0.5 to move it apart, um, but it hasn't changed the actual aspect ratio of the design. All it's done is done spacing. So let's say that I want this design to be skinnier than it is, to stay the height it, that it is, but to be skinnier. There's not a way to do that directly in Power Panto, but I can do that in other parts of the program. So I'm already in Panto. I'm just going to stay in Panto to show you that you can do the same thing in Pattern CAD, and you can also do it in Quilt CAD, but you can do it in Panto. So we're just going to stay where we are. And I'm going to change my Panto mode to basic mode. So I'm going to go over to where it says Panto mode power, tap on that, and then I'm going to come up and choose basic mode. Once I'm in basic mode, I'm going to set my design up so it's smaller. Um, so I think I want my panograph to be about eight inches tall. So I'm going to start out by doing, uh, just setting my height and width to eight inches so that I'm close to what I think I want it to be. So now I have an eight inch square that I'm working with and I'm going to be changing the width of my design in just a second, but I want to bring this in so that I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and select dazzle real quick, which I've put in a folder so I can grab it real quick. And I'm going to come off of the nest button, the top of the three heart buttons and go to the one right underneath it. So this, this button is called equal center and it will let me uh, change my aspect ratio. So what I want you to see on this is that this is not actually designed in a square. It's actually, it's close, but it's eight um, inches wide and 7.5 inches tall about. So it's not truly designed in a square. Um, but if I want it to be tall and narrow, um, I can change the width of my design surface, or in this case, my quilt, right, to be narrow. So let's say I want this to be really tall and skinny. So I'm gonna say, I want it to be four inches wide and eight inches tall. When I start out, because I'm on equal center, you're going to see it still has that aspect ratio locked. So it's not going to distort the design. But if I pop back up to the top choice, right, it will start distorting the design and make it tall and narrow. Um, I, wanted, I wanted to hit my um, choice one more time to make sure that I didn't have partials because that's not gonna help me in a moment. You don't wanna see any pink when you're doing this. Once I have this in what I think I want my new design to look like, I'm going to save it. So I'm gonna go up to the um, little floppy disk icon and choose save and I'm going to name it Tall Dazzle, right? So now I have my design I just created and I'm gonna go back over to Power Panto. And I'm gonna set this up to my real quilt height. So I'm gonna say 40 by 40. and then come over to my select pattern and choose the tall dazzle that I just created. And you're gonna see that it is, it's now tall and skinny. It's not the, the kind of square looking pattern that it used to be. Um, I can go to my verticals and say, I want to increase my verticals. I know 0.5 was working the last time, 
right? But it has stretched the height of my design. So I can change the aspect ratio of my design and still use Power Panto. There's just an extra step in there. That being said, Power Panto saves really quickly and it quilts really fast. So if you have a pattern that you've been distorting using basic in version four, and you know that you like that design shaped differently than what the designer intended, go ahead and torque your design and make it the way that you'd like to see it and save it. If you use that design in that ratio often, it's worth just saving another copy of the design. I just wanted to go ahead and show you how you can use version five and get some of the same effects you were doing in version four without having to use basic mode. I still like basic mode. There's still reasons that I will use it, but for most of my everyday quilting, I want to use Power Panto because it is just so much faster. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. Um, we also love it when you put likes on our videos and we love to see comments from people, especially comments on what you'd like us to film next.